So do we pay first? Yeah, I'm, I'm not quite sure what the, the deal is. To tell you the truth, I never explain anything much to me. Hi. Okay. Please explain this to us because I'm really confused. He's not. I get confused really easy. So the only thing you have to offer is these two. Uh, also, a la carte. And the a la carte as well. Okay. You might as well get the this one because a la carte gets pretty expensive. But it depends on how hungry you are. I'm not that hungry, and I think we're going to eat a little bit. Well, I'm going to eat a little bit later anyway. When, yeah, when we make I mean, I'm, the, I'm going to get this, but you can get a la carte if you want. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is from uh, all you can eat. Yeah, okay. Uh, has to be two people. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, I can cover some of yours if you want to, if you don't want to pay 40. No, no, that, no, that's fine. It's just I was seeking how much I could eat. So it's uh, $40 per person. For lunchtime, 10 bucks is off, so 35 dollars yeah, okay. Okay. Yep. Done. Sunday? Yeah. So you need to choose what you need. Okay. You choose. So we like pick the meat or Yeah, anything, anything. Uh, get the rib. Yep. Uh, loin. Uh, get some pork belly. Uh, Um, zucchini and cabbage. Uh, so we have to pick like five. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, get some takoyaki. Uh, get some pizza. And that's it. So we can order more later, right? Okay. Uh, sorry, I didn't, I no, no, I didn't realize I was picking for both. No, 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 pick, pick for both because I, I've really got a clue. Um, I can't even print, as you know, I can't pronounce anything anyway, especially to do with Japanese. And, and I don't even know what this is called. What, is, what do you mean this? Yeah. This is Yaki Niku. Yaku Niku. Yaki Niku. Yaku Niku. Okay, because I'm going to play this back and learn how to say Yaki Niku. Yaki means fried, yeah. and Niku just means meat. Okay. So it's just like grilled meat. Because, oh, okay, because see, when I'm in Japan, because I don't speak Japanese, I, and these are everywhere, I just literally walk into a place yeah. and um, just sort of like point at the meat and go, I'll have that. And that's it. <laughs> Sometimes I don't want to know what I'm eating. Mm -hmm. Because it's no photos, though. How are you meant to know what it is? No, but, but, but that's good because see, like when I was in Japan and I had this, and they just brought out the little tray of all the different meats. Yeah. I ate it. I was really happy, and then I found out afterwards what I was eating, and I thought, oh. So sometimes it's good not to know. Yeah, it's like uh, they've got loin, rib. I heard this one is not so great, the harami. So that's like, I don't know, like outskirts and pork belly. Yeah, I mean, I haven't been here, so it's yeah. Yeah, it was different to how I pitched it for some reason. Um, I, I don't know, for some reason I thought you went up and help, helped yourself, yeah. and it was a bigger place. No, I think they normally are actually like Korean barbecue, usually go up the top. But I think they do it, they only do it this way because of the size of the world. Yeah. So if it's like a bigger place, they would let you grab it. Yeah. I noticed there's a lot of Japanese places opening up in the city lately. I don't know if you've noticed, especially down Barrack Street, further down Barrack Street there. I mean, they, they've been open for a couple of years now, I think. So. Okay. It's, been, it's been the last five years, we've done a lot more. Okay. Yeah. And a lot more expensive. Thank you. But I'm happy though, because um, it's a really good udon place uh, on Murray Street that yeah. I go to sometimes. But uh, fresh udon made with like fat, like fat buckwheat and fat flour. And did they do the whole thing like in Japan where they get the noodles in front of you? And yeah, 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 it's like yeah. a, it's a like, it's like a tray box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they, you know, I think you probably, if you've been to a Udon house in Japan, it'd be the same thing. Okay. And 
It's also like a, it's also a convenience store type place. Uh, down on the road, like further down. Yes. But it's only open Monday to Friday. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, oh. Thanks. So this is, I think, this is beef tataki. Okay. So it just, it's just like a steak salad dish. A steak salad. Yeah. Okay. That, oh, thanks. What, what, what I'll have to do is when I go to Japan, you'll have to come and you'll have to be too a guy and explain everything as if you lived there. So how many times have you been to Japan? Twice. See now, he ate that raw. If, if he wasn't here, I wouldn't have known that. I would have cooked it. But it's not raw, it's medium rare. Oh, yeah. I'm no good with chopsticks, by the way. Or not, not these sort of chopsticks. So apart from Japan, where else have you been? Um, I haven't really been much else internationally, okay. but my family's never been on a trip before, so it's just been up to me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and around Australia, you've been everywhere or just to Sydney? Sydney, Canberra. Basically, yeah. Sydney. Yeah, okay, right. Yep. Yeah. I'm normally okay with chopsticks, but like the proper ones, these uh, sort I have trouble with. Yeah. Well, the idea is that if you can use one type of chopstick, you can use any type of chopstick. I wasn't very good to start with. Yeah. With that. Actually, in Japan, when I was in Nara, and they had a tourist info center. Yep. And they had a challenge uh, to see how many pieces of rice you could pick up with chocolate. How many pieces of rice? Yeah. So don't you just scoop it? Yeah, but it's hard. Like. Okay. Thank you. I actually beat the the tour guide. Did you win anything? No. It's just a just a fun competition. Hello, 360 camera. I'm, I'm over here. <laughs> <laughs> I've got that. So is that showing the whole thing? That's showing everything. That that one shows everything. Yeah. So it'll show the cooking and everything, which is good. Because the lens is pointing this way, so there's a lens on the other side as well. Oh, okay. And then when you process it, it takes forever to process it. Yeah. I've got a two terabyte hard drive on the um, desktop computer. Yeah. And God knows how much RAM loads of it. And one video from that processing at 5K takes up the whole hard drive. Yeah. Right down. No, man. Do you, are you good at cooking, mate? No, I'm useless. useless. You're, you're teaching me all about this. Seriously, like, the, the, the one in Japan, as you know, they, they give you the little barbecue grill in front of you. Yeah. They give you a plate of meat, I just chuck it all on at once. Yeah. And when it sort of like looks like it's not going to kill me, I eat it. Right. Well, you've done this before, right? You've done like grill in Japan. Oh yeah, 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 but not the, not the proper way. Like I, I, you presented it nice on there, for example. I just get it to go. Oh no, yeah, can't do that. But obviously, you you, you know the difference. The meat doesn't taste as good as what it does in Japan. Yeah, well, I, I know you can't expect it. But like, this is probably about as good as you get in Japan. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You don't wanna. The question is, so when can we travel again? Uh, I've been saving, but I still need to save a bit more to really have a good trip. Have a good trip. As you know, my problem is every time I save, yeah, you don't save. I go and spend it <laughs> because you, you you look at the news or I look at the news and I get really depressed and go. The borders are closed for another week or another month or, or whatever. I get I'll spend the money, so starting from scratch. But I think, as I say, I can go to Japan and not have a lot of money, it doesn't matter. I don't need to do the tourist things anymore. Yeah. You know, the first time you go, you do all the tourist attractions. Yeah. 
Can I please get a Coca Cola? Yeah. Read the Japanese. Read this. The Japanese. Uh, yeah, I can read this. This is called. Um, what, what, what's the name of the shop? UN. Yeah, UN. <laughs> UN, everybody. Yeah. There you go. No, I can't, but, like, do you think. I'm even going to move the microphone closer to you because you speak very quiet. For some reason, I, I picture you being a very loud spoken person. Oh, no, not really. Um, do you think, though, in the year 2021, yeah. that you need to learn another language when you go to places like Japan and that? I know if you live there, you need to know the language. Yeah. But, but to visit countries where you don't speak their language, do you really think it's important now? Because I can't say one single word, yeah. in ja as you know, in Japanese at all. I can't even say gotchapon. How do you say it? Gotchapon. Gotchapon. I don't, I think you, you don't need to if you have like a good translator, but you're not going to get the full experience. But I haven't even used a translator over there. Yeah. Never. I mean, you can, but it's just you're not going to get the full experience. Yeah. Um, Especially in regional. I mean, in the city, it's a bit different. Yeah. But, but in, in regional. I went to, I only ever had, I don't know if you were on the channel then, um, but I only ever had one bad experience in Japan. And I went to this little country town somewhere, I can't remember where it was. Yeah. And because tourists don't go there, like literally don't go there, I was classed as the odd one out. Yeah. So everybody at the hotel was being served before me. Mm -hmm. Everybody was allowed to check in the room before me. You know, it was like, you sit over there. Yeah, I mean, I think some of the best. Wow, so much! Some of the best interactions I've had in Japan have been like because I knew Japanese. Yeah. So especially when you're like reading signs and stuff or um, talking to Japanese people. If you don't live with Japanese, you feel like you can you understand them better. And you also understand like it's like puns and stuff and like, cultural references that you, you don't get from a translator or from the English language. So did you learn Japanese just because you were going to Japan on a holiday or were you learning it before? Uh, no, I learned, I learned Japanese in high school. Okay. Uh, but I didn't do A class, I didn't learn that much. Uh, a lot of those stuff study because I just want I was just looking for something to improve on. Yeah, I guess. Sorry I'm not helping you cook. No, it's just that. I have no idea. Yeah, see, when I went to school, we didn't learn another language. It, yeah. Uh, it, it wasn't part of the curriculum at all. Okay. Now it's compulsory. Yeah. Like year seven, year eight, you have to learn a language. See, we only had we only had three terms when I went to school, and then when I was in year nine or ten, that's when they started changing the system and putting in the extra term and, and cramming uh, things more into a, a, a term rather than across the year because we used to learn all year. Yeah. But it was just the basics that we learned, which was math, science, social studies, um, and, and English, I think. And I, I kind of know how to speak English already, so, oh. sort of. If I drop anything, by the way, people, I'm going to edit it out, right? You're only going to see the good bits of me edit. Hello, the Karage here is coming. The Karage? It was the best thing. I had it nearly every night. Yeah. You know, with the beer. It was quick. It was easy. Every night. Uh, <laughs> I mean, not every night, but yeah, quite a lot. Not, yeah. not for a main meal. Yeah. Um, I would just go to one of the you know the little bars and had it just for a drink and a bit of relaxation. Mm. 
Are you cooked or? Did you dip it into the sauce pill? I didn't, no. But I found that about when I was in um, Japan, the meat they had there was so beautiful tasting mm. that you didn't want to ruin it by sticking in it. When I went to Kobe and had Kobe beef, yeah. they gave me all these little things of um, you know, salt and whatever. Yeah. I didn't use any of them. I, I just wanted to enjoy the meat. That was the best experience, the, the Kobe beef experience. I read online that Kobe beef is actually the best beef in Japan, like it's the most well known. Um, it's still very good, but it's not the best. No, I would say. Now, where I went, what was in Kobe, and they had like a display of all the different meats and, and where it fell into the category of it. Yeah. Um, it cost me sixty dollars for two hundred grams. So, yeah. Okay. So, uh, well worth it. My God, I can't wait to go back there. Oh, thanks and, and try it again. If you're looking for somebody to live with you and cook every night, I'll probably be moving out um, beginning of next year. Either. Closer to the uni or? Well, I well you're kind of close anyway. I would have graduated so. Oh, really? Yeah, end of this year. Oh, okay. Wherever life takes me, I'll, I'll go anywhere. Yeah, that's the way you got to do it. Anywhere other than I must admit I'm really bad, I've never planned anything. I let life just go the way it is. If I feel like moving, I move. The worst thing about the, the pandemic for me is yeah. moving out of Perth. It's kind of impossible to move during the part of the pandemic. Yeah. But, um, I don't think we've suffered that much, really. Well, if you want to move, you start selling the stuff. But see, when I move from... When you're over east, moving from Sydney, Melbourne, whatever, Adelaide, it's very easy. You can take the stuff with you. But when you when you move to Perth, you have to sell everything. So I already did. So I had to rebuy everything again. And then when I move again, I'm going to have to sell everything again. And you get nothing for it. That's the thing. I mean, if you move to Sydney or Melbourne, You'll get a lot more, probably a lot more views. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but that, that's why, um, because the borders weren't opening, and, and literally, I mean, who YouTube's per? Um, that's why I thought I've got to do something, and that's why I just looked at Sydney, because everybody in the world knows the Sydney Harbour Bridge and Sydney Opera House. So, you know. I mean, didn't your female friend um, video test?